Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain filtering concept in vectors. So first of all, let me create a vector. So in this vector, I'm going to put some values. Okay. So the filtering, uh, what is filtering? Filtering is a process by which we extract elements from vectors which satisfy a condition. So let me write this a greater than 2. So what is the meaning of this one? When we write these kind of expression, these uh, kind of expression, uh, as we can see in this side, we are having a vector of 6 element and this side we are having a single number and as we know single number are one element vector. So there will be a recycling and what this expression will look like this expression will be converted into something like uh, 2 3 4 98 56 34 greater than 2 2 2 2 how many there are 6 2 so the uh, recycling will be performed on this side so uh, if you can see here 2 greater than 2 uh, this is not true 3 greater than 2 this is true so except this element, all these element will satisfy this condition. So let's see what will happen if we try to print this one. So if you can see for every element whether the condition is true or false. So for except first element, uh, rest of element uh, satisfying this condition successfully. Now the thing is that what we want to do, we want to extract elements from this vector. So far what we have done, we have checked uh, for which element condition are true for which condition for which elements these condition are not true so now in order to extract elements i'm simply writing here print a now these are actually also used for index and logical index as well so if i am writing here let's say true false true false true false uh, just wait uh, let me take c so what i'm doing here i am creating a vector of logical values and these logical values I am passing as an index in vector A. And I want to see what will happen. So when you pass uh, a logical value as index in a vector, so what will do? This A will take this first value, which is true. So it will extract first element. First one is false, so it will not extract second one. Sorry, second one is false, so it will not extract three. Third one is true, it will extract fourth. So on the basis of these values, these elements are extracted. So in the previous one, we have uh, seen how to extract, how to find out which uh, for which element condition is true and for which element condition are false. So I'm writing here that expression, uh, which say a greater than two. So what will happen here in the previously we have already seen output of this expression is a vector of logical values and uh, in those logical values except first element all elements are returning true. Uh, let's wait it actually stopped responding. So uh, here the thing is that uh, now it's working. Okay, so run. So now we have extracted element which have successfully satisfied this condition because this expression and a vector of logical value and these logical value are uh, specified as index of this vector. So except first one, all these element are uh, are uh, returning. True. That's why these elements are extracted. Now, 
sometimes what we are interested in we are interested in the index number which actually satisfy the condition so here if you can see if we are running this expression what we get we get a vector of logical number the logical values we are not getting which index has successfully satisfied the condition so here comes use of which function so what this function will do this function will return the index number which satisfy this condition so if you can see except first index which belongs to this element all these indexes indices are satisfying this condition thank you very much for watching